We're here today to stand up for the taxpayers, not just here in Orange County, but in the entire 39th state Senate district. And for that matter, for all of New York State residents. In 2015, Senator Larkin voted to create a pay raise. And he did this by voting for a commission to explore the state executive, the legislative, and the judicial officials' compensation levels. Despite the ongoing corruption in Albany, okay, a shaky economic recovery, onerous mandates, and taxes beyond belief for many of the local residents, businesses, and schools, that commission is proposing giving a 47% pay increase to what is known as the most corrupt legislation, legislators in the uh, United States. This proposed pay hike would make our legislators here in New York State the highest paid, the highest paid for a part-time job. Senator Larkin's current compensation, current compensation is $163,000. This is for his base pay of $79,500 and then a $25,000 stipend for his position as a Senate Majority Leader for Floor Operations. On top of that, his double dipping, which is he is collecting his retirement for exactly that same job, gives him an additional $58,500 all at taxpayers' expense. Under the current details that we've gotten so far from this commission, the pay raise of 47% would carry Senator Larkin over $200,000 for a part-time job. His base salary would be $116,900 a year. Unbelievable. In contrast, I've worked with my fellow colleagues here for decades, literally, making sure that there is no pay raise for politicians. As mentioned by Matt, we voted eight years ago for four zeros, and we are proud to say that we voted again for four zeros for the next four years, starting in 2018. And we fought for that. We fought for that because that did not come easily. Many of the uh, opposing legislators, those being on the other side of the aisle, wanted that pay raise. But they saw when we stood together that it wasn't going to happen, that it couldn't happen. My record shows that the taxpayers have been respected, okay? That I respect every cent of their tax dollars. As mentioned by Matt, we reduced the uh, amount that we put into the health benefits for us as legislators. We pay into it now. Last week, we successfully took and did away with that 11.2% increase that was proposed. And we also uh, got together with the Republicans and held firm, even though they felt over the past eight years that they had a pay decrease. Additionally, I work with my uh, colleagues, my fellow colleagues here, to do away with travel stipends. You remember that? We did away with travel stipends. So we're not collecting money any longer for uh, travel, as do the state legislators. And of course, that's not included in the pay that I already mentioned. Let me be clear. I'm 100% against the pay raises for any kind of politicians. I've done it for my own position. I will do it at the state level. Hudson Valley taxpayers are struggling. When will our state legislators understand that and realize that? While Senator Larkin has for decades uh, of service leveraged his power to increase his own salary, I will vote and have voted multiple times no. No pay raises. Senator Larkin's outrageous proposal for taxpayer-funded pay raises shows he has fallen out of touch with all of our fellow citizens. We have people who are complaining about the taxes and who are leaving the state because of the taxes, and all he is doing is raising them. I am running for the 39th New York State Senate District to correct these egress situations, and I hope that everybody understands that we need legislators in Albany to vote for what's good for our taxpayers. Thank you again for coming. Thank you very much for being here.